my Hellions, and welcome to Warframe Builds once again. Today we're going to be covering a newer weapon that's actually just recently came out about uh, a week and a half, two weeks, maybe maybe two and a half weeks ago. It's, it's actually one of the newest additions to uh, the Tenno Arsenal, the Arca Plasmor. It is a shotgun, uh, pulse wave uh, like gun. Covered in blood. Safe and sound. Yeah, when they get done with my build, I'm sure they will. Alright, so this is a shotgun weapon that actually is kind of funky, if nothing else. Its magazine is six, its reload is not the grandest, it's almost three. Uh, it means it's taking three seconds almost to reload it. Its status is 28, and its critical is 22, but its multiplier is 1.6. Which means it could be made into either a status or a critical. And, well, most cases it's best to go with both. Um, put a little bit of elemental, but have mainly crit. Okay, so that way you have like a base of all kinds of weapons. Or uh, different kinds of damaging. Okay. Now, this is... I use a critical build, and this is that this is going to be one of those cases uh this is the one case where i use primed ravage and a blunderbuss okay this i use as um critical first but elemental last okay so this is the one one of the very first case so far probably some more later on in the future but this is the one few case where if you do not have a primed uh maxed ravage okay then this is one case where you do not want to do a normal ravage but rather completely get rid of the blunderbuss and ravage and go purely status okay have an incendiary coat and everything else but switch these two out and put like uh, a chilling grasp on there and put a contagious spread on there. Okay? That's honestly what I would do. Okay? Now, if my mouse could stop, you see, watch, my, this is what my cursor does every time I lift it off my mouse pad. See? I just, it does that every time I lift it off my mouse pad. Stupid thing. Quit. Let me move. Damn it. Quit. Quit being a piece of shit. Come on. Quit. Uh, this is supposed to be a $130 mouse and you fucking suck so much ass. Alright, but anyway. So, this is a hybrid shotgun. And rather than pellets, it fires pulse waves, nonetheless. So let's get on with the build. Or, let's do first A. I do not do Riven mods. Uh, they are too random, but if you were to get a Riven mod, I would go for damage or multiply, damage or multi-shot. I would go for, uh, preferably both, um, I would go for, uh, critical damage or critical chance. I would go for status or some sort of elemental, okay? That's what I would do personally. The downside is accuracy. That'd be good for it. Um, spreads it out more. And the pellets are actually shockwaves more than less. And that's pretty good. Uh, bigger magazine. That would work too. Uh, bigger reload rate. It doesn't bother me that the reload rate is that high. But it could some of you. So that's up to you guys. Um, the Warframe Builder build that I have made for this is down in the comments below. And the reason why... I'm, it is the reason why I know that if you do not have a Primed Ravage, you do not want to do the critical Blunderbuss and Primed Ravage build on this. Keep everything else, but switch these two out for either the other two 90% Elemental or a Nightmare Elementals that give status and an Elemental. Okay? And the reason why I know this is because when I did this build on Warframe Builder, which is in the description of the below, in the in the description down below, if I could talk with a damn, that'd be peachy. Um, as is all the other builds, and will ever forever be, is because it it you get more damage out of it this way. And if you do not have this mod in particular, do not do the normal ravage. 
because the other way that I said will do more damage is second best to this. So that being said, primed point blank ravage or ravage blank primed point blank English son of a bitch I cannot seem to speak it worth a crap. If you do not have it, as you get this from Borrow Key Tier, when he actually does have it, uh, which he actually should be coming out this Friday to Sunday. So get your Ducats ready. Uh, do the normal point blank. That's all good. Vicious Spread. This is a Nightmare mod. Uh, gives the spread, which is actually pretty good, considering what this thing fires and how it is. Blunderbuss, again, if you do not have the Prime Ravage, do just get rid of these two. Otherwise, max this bitch out and do it. Charge Shell, you'll get this later on in the game. Blaze, another Nightmare mod. Uh, very good because it gives damage as well as heat. Hell's Chamber, later on in the game, you'll find it mid-tier. Uh, at least most of these mods you will find by the time you are MR10. At least. It, it, even the primed mods you'll more than likely find by the time you get MR10. If you have not, then you either have not gotten to the right relay, you've missed Borrow Key Tier when he has it, or you've just, it's just been bad luck for everyone when he just doesn't have it in general. Then there's Incendiary Coat, same as Charge Shell. You will get this later on in the game by MR10, Master Rank 10. So, that's all that. Um, to my knowledge, there is not an auto alternate fire. Uh, this is in the Arca series. There is a hammer and a secondary to this, but we'll get to those later on. So let's go and test this pupper out. There's like a fucking war horn going off every time I land my ship. I did not mean to leave the damn relay, son of a bitch! Okay! We are here. Alrighty, so let's go. First of all, this is how it fires. This is a pump action shotgun, nonetheless. It's one. It's actually the very first pump action shotgun, which is really cool. Honestly, I forgot to mention that. Okay, so let's go and we'll try out the Arid Butcher Xmas. We'll have one in there, please. And we're going to go do settings. We're going to go do this and this. And have you set up to this. We're feeling this damn confident. We're going to start off with a level 70 Butcher Xmas. We're going to start this and we're going to go boop. And we're going to go boop. And we're going to go up to him and we're going to beat his ass like so. Whoa. There we go. Two shot at him. Two shot at him. That, but sure that'll work alrighty so this already has a little bit of innate uh, punch through so if you have multiple ones in a group that works and with the spread that works even better so level 70s right off the bat just gets two shotted let's try a 150 and I have radiation on it this time so it should do pretty good actually it's a radiation gun in general There we go. Three shotted. Three shotted. Beautiful. Okay. Take him out. Put an ancient healer, Xmas. Settings. We'll put you as a 100. Go in and we do a simulator. Go in. Boop. Boop. Oh, that didn't do shit to you. What the hell? What the hell? Why are you doing no damage? You, this is bullshit. I'm literally doing no damage to this thing. What even? What? I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but it appeared to have worked. Okay, so apparently Xmas is this thing does zero damage for some stupid reason. Let's try that shit again. Uh, this time do damage. You there. That's how you kill something this gun can't. Knock it the hell off. 
Okay, so for some reason this thing does literally zero damage to Ancient Healer Xmases. I don't know why. Um, so piss on that. This thing is absolutely pointless against infestation for some reason. Actually, you know what? Just to do something different. Let's try... Let, let's, let's do infested. Let's try... Let's try a Charger Xmas. Yeah. Let's try that again. There, it's done doing damage. That'll work. <laughs> uh, ooh, former blueprints. Those are always lovely. Okay, so infestation, this thing, for some reason, doesn't do the grandest, and it could be because I'm using different elements. Um, let's try a heavy arid gunner, or heavy heavy gunner Xmas right off the bat, level 100. Alrighty. Come on, bitch. Boop. Boop. Okay, so it takes it a while. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Okay, so let's try that again, but this time with our Rhino Roar. Because the things that it cannot kill, it seems to do best uh, against um, uh, like lower tiers. Like, level 70 seems to be its threshold. Of course, I may not also be getting criticals, either. Because I barely have 47% on the critical chance. Okay. Alright, so... Let's try a corpus. Let's try a corpus, dude. Yeah, these are all level 100s. Four shot it. So this thing does wonders against Corpus and small, uh, small Grenier Xmases. But heavy dudes and ancients, this thing doesn't do tits against. Literally. Even with. Even, even with a rhino roar this thing still does a little bit less damage than i would like it for and it's really cool gun it's the very first pump action shotgun and i don't know it's in it, in my opinion the critical seems to do more damage but i could also be wrong and you could also just build it just pure elemental right off the bat and see how that works um I already said what you could probably go for for a Riven at the beginning of the video. Um, I don't know. It's a really cool gun, but I'd say it's an early, er, an, a very early late game or a very late mid game kind of gun. Like a level, a level seventy to ninety is its is its all out threshold. Beyond that, you're just pumping out ammo for no good reason. Um, it's uh, it's not too grand on the clip size or its reload rate. It's um, it's uh, highlights is its well it's 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 shockwave shotgun basically. It knocks them back a bit, um, ragdolls them, disintegrates them when they die, and it has innate punch through more or less. So spread and multi shot is this thing's best friend. Um, doesn't exactly have the grandest of damage for late games, so anything beyond level 90 is kind of its downfall, unfortunately. So, but this is the Archiplasmor. Its highlights is that it looks very cool. It's a pump action shotgun, and it sounds really cool. So, but on that note, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope you all guys, 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 guys and gals enjoyed this. If I could speak with a damn, that'd be lovely. Holy shit. Now, I'm going to leave this one here. If you guys liked it or enjoyed it or found this informational, leave a like so I know you guys 
found something good out of this down in the comments below if you'd like to say hello any company is all welcomed and happy to have around hit the subscribe button give it some love and go and share with all your friends so that you and they can become part of the Helion family and will receive all the updates whenever new stuff is out whether I go live or an update or even a new video so in any case I'm gonna leave this one here thank you everybody for watching and as always as I try and shake my mouse like a motherfucker doing the chimichanga conga ass line. What is that? So I can move? That works. I'm going to see all of you in the next one. See ya.